I'm doing up the last album for you. This one's called uh, Hard as a Rock. Ready? Ready? Woo! We've always been a true band. You'll never get any truer. If the kid on the street can see it on stage and go, I can do that, that's a gift. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, whether you're in Russia listening to ACDC or if you're here in California, it's like a common denominator. They're so loud, and they're so obnoxious, they get me wired. Here to see ACDC, the best rock band in the world. We're just five very average guys. That when we get together, we make this magic thing called the ACDC. The band name, I think, is, uh, is so big that even we're scared of it. The great thing is it's universal. You can Argentina or France or Germany or England or America, and it seems like you've brought your own audience. And of course, it's not the case at all. It's just you've brought the people who think the same way around the world into one hall. ACDC is about sex. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple, a couple of guys that uh, were, were hardcore. They came to every show. I mean, hundreds of shows they come to. And one of them uh, would dress up like Angus. Every show they'd be there. Front row seating, full Angus attire. Angus will see me this time. There's a lot of uh, ones that wear the schoolboy suit. I've seen a lot of those. Since schoolgirl once, and that's all over the world. You get bikers, and then you get stockbrokers. Wouldn't say that there was a typical ACDC fan. It doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you because you like ACDC. Yeah, baby, yeah! Most people think that when a woman gets to around 44, 45, that she likes Celine Dion or something like that. It's like Satchmo's horn has its own sound, you know? Angus's guitar has its own sound. I know we're real. I know we're not, you know, we're not a bullshit band, you know? I think they, they come to see us. They like to see a band who works really hard, you know? We do work really hard. And if you like to tap your foot, I don't know, there's, there's something in it for you. People get on the highway to heaven. See? Long live rock and roll, so baby! Get on up on the highway down to hell. Here's a picture of me, 1973, dressed in my Angus suit. When did the band first play? 1973. Coincidence? I think so. But I brought it out anyway, because I love that shot. I actually, I think I was a major influence on Angus. Some eggs? No. No? ACDC's become a huge part of our life together. We've gone to concerts together. And the only part that I think is obsessive is the collection of memorabilia. And where do you put that stuff? Ever since I've known him, he's always said, I want a room in my house, a shrine of ACDC. Here's me, captain of the baseball team. Funny story, we made it to the state championship. and. I get up to plate and it's telecast on live TV and the guy says instead of stats, he says. 18-year-old senior, captain of the basketball team, and his favorite musical group is one you never even heard of, ACDC. Oh, I've heard of them. All right, here's a right-handed hitter up there. My wife and I are soulmates. We uh, met on April 17th, 1984. I was 15, she was 14. Uh, we were married nine years later to the day and uh, we're still growing strong. And 
I'm pretty sure she knew I was an ACDC fan before she got involved, so she knew what she was getting into. Overall, I think that it's been fun. I enjoy listening to the music. But we do listen to ACDC a lot. In the morning, it's the first thing he puts in. And we wake up to it, we exercise to it, we make breakfast to it, we drive to work listening to it. Probably at conception, my daughter was listening to ACDC. She um, actually began singing Stiff Upper Lip, and my wife and I looked at each other and went, oh my god. And we, we couldn't believe, you know, it wasn't something that we force fed her. She's just over there one day, and she had the Brian Johnson gravel going, and I was like, oh my god, this is classic. <laughs> I'm heading into Garen and Company. I work at the H.H. H. Hay Building, which is a historical landmark in Portland. And uh, Garen and Company is a marketing communications firm, advertising agency, and I am associate creative director there, or as I like to say, ACD. There I concept and design uh, for many clients, various different clients for various different projects. Anything from television to radio to print to logo design to web design. So I kind of never get bored with what I do. It's something different every day. The way I design is to keep the message simple and to keep it uh, edgy, kind of like ACDC does. ACDC? <laughs> I uh, do a new show for WBLM. It's pretty much whenever I have latest ACDC news. So what do we have for uh, news and rumors this week? Well, uh, they did kick off their tour at Grand Rapids, Michigan, and um, reports are in that the show will consist of the same 15 songs they've been playing for the last 25 years. Before you go, Kurt, let me turn this down. I got something for you. You are going to the show tomorrow night, but WBLM has <clears throat> upgraded your tickets. You're no. going to be sitting in the front row. No! Nobody in front of you except Angus and Malcolm. No way! Enjoy the front row of ACDC. I need to hug somebody. You hug somebody I in a second to... because you're also going to go backstage. You don't even know what to say, do you? No. Because you, this is something you have been waiting for all your life. To actually, you're going to be able to meet Brian and Angus and Phil and Malcolm and Cliff. I, are you just shaking? I have to go now. What? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I can't believe it. I know. I mean, I don't even know. How's the party plans going? <sighs> We're baking. I mean, Tim and are helping me out. We're making salads, wings, meatballs, you name it, and I'm doing it. We always have a pre-ACDC concert party, and with the concert tomorrow night, we're having it tonight. <laughs> Squealer, when I held her hand. Squealer. I made her understand. Squealer, when I kissed her lips. Squealer, sucked her fingertips. Woo! Senior year, Kurt goes out for a uh, football rally, and the lights go down, and Kurt comes out as Angus Young and gives probably the best performance, yeah. Yeah. even probably better than Angus Young. The great thing about me is we're probably the only state in the nation where the governor's name is Angus.
you know, if it makes us feel good, it makes them feel good. And that, that's, how, that's how we gauge our fans, you know? When I hear a song lift, you know, when I hear that, you know, I'm happy.